three bold second half predictions. I'm going to lead this one off because he has taken the MLB by storm. Everyone's talking about him, especially his last performance. He is now starting the All-Star game. Has to do with Paul Skeens. Saying at this point he's going to win Rookie of the Year is absolutely not a hot take. He is the favorite. He's going to win it, barring an injury. But let's go a little farther. Paul Skeens wins the Cy Young, Die young. and also mm-hmm. receives multiple MVP votes. Does not win it, but he receives some votes. Yeah, what's crazy is that you literally took the words right off of the page. That was my first one as well. Um, but Skeens, this this take feels like at this point it's not that insane. Like when you're talking about a guy that's been as dominant as he has, it's 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 been unbelievable as of late. Um, Skeens, I mean, you you talk about a guy that has completely you said it taken the MLB by storm. He's shocked everybody. I mean, everybody thought he was going to be good, but I don't think anybody thought he was going to be this good. His expectations were as high as a pitcher prospect he's ever been since Steven Strasburg, if not higher. And somehow he's been better in the expectations. You don't see that very often. Paul Skeens has done that. He deserves all the recognition, if not more at this point. Yeah, uh, I love the the tweets about... Um, you know, there's a uh, there's a similarity there uh, between Justin Verlander and Paul Skeens, both very good as rookies, both had very attractive girlfriends. And so I saw a bunch of tweets <laughs> coming back when they were rookies, and I saw, uh, welcome back, Justin Verlander, when he was announced to the uh, NL starting role um, with the All-Star game. I thought that was a pretty good tweet. Shout out to whoever had that one. I, I forget. I, I'm sorry I don't have a name for you, but that, that was pretty good. All right, Gage, second second one is going to be Otani does not win NL MVP. I'm taking the field here. If that's Harper, if that is Mookie Betts, I feel like Betts has missed too much time. I always go back to 2019 with Yelich missing three weeks. That seems to eliminate you no matter how well you played. So I don't know if it's going to be Mookie Betts or Christian Yelich, but I'll say my pick right now is Bryce Harper, but regardless, I am taking the field in the National League. Okay, so then does that mean that me saying that he's going to win MVP is bold or not quite? I don't think it's bold at all because he's the okay. favorite right now. That is true. All right, um, I'll go with this. I like the idea of Judge breaking his current home run record. Um, from May 1st to July 6th, Judge averaged a, Judge averaged a home run every seven and... 7.88 at bats, which is significantly higher than his mark in 22, 22, um, 2022, being the year that he did, in fact, uh, set his record. So, I mean, Judge could he's he's currently on pace, it, barring his health. I mean, I think you're looking at a guy that's going to break his own record here. That would be absolutely insane. I feel like that would confirm he's going to be the American League MVP too. Then, oh, definitely. Right? Yeah. Would that 100%. be your pick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I like it. Although I do have Gunnar Henderson right now. If Judge were to break the AL record yet again, oh, that would be that would be something to behold. On a very good Yankees team, also you got to add on to that. Last bold prediction: the American League Central, picked by many to be just as garbage as can be. They have three playoff teams at the end of game 162. The Guardians, Twins, and Royals all make October baseball. Dude, that'd be electric. I could get behind that. I, I, You know what? Pack of Brew officially an AL Central podcast. I am a fan. I, I, I like these teams. These teams are fun to watch. Gar- Cleveland and Minnesota, I'm obviously very confident in it. And Kansas City's not in that spot right now, but Gage, can, I don't know if yeah. it was you or just watching Bobby or what, but I have turned into a believer of this Royals team also. And I mean, when you have a saying behind it, I've always thought this. Um, I guess I'll fire this one off. Whenever you have like a saying behind your team, it's so much easier to buy in. Like when the Brewers were let's go Milwaukee because of the athletic article that Christian Yelich wrote or, or Players Tribune article that Christian Yelich wrote, excuse me, and like B- Milwaukee rallied behind that, and now the Royals have them boys are playing some ball, and it feels like people are starting to rally behind that, and I, I love that. I, I'm a big fan. Um, for me, 
I guess the last one that I've got, and my final take here is that the Mariners do not win the AL West. I'm not sure if that's a bold take or not. I mean, they've they've let it what feels like the entire year. They've had it in their hands the entire year. They've been slowing down before the break, and the Astros are currently red hot and keeping the pressure on them um, going into the All-Star break here. Mariners not going to win the AL West. I feel that it is going to be the Astros. And especially when we talk about especially when we talk about how bad the Astros were to start this year, it would be unbelievable by game 163 if they are like truly winning. So, so that mm, I don't get I don't know how hot that is at this yeah. point. I don't know who the favorite is to Vegas, but you just look at how hot this Houston Astros team is. They're only a game and a half behind of Seattle. I, I, if you were to say, oh, the Rangers win it, that's different. But yeah. I don't think Seattle okay. not winning it is that hot of a take at this point. All right. I, I'm sorry. All right. I'm hating on all your hot takes, but yeah. I just don't think so. All right. I, I, that's fair.